Hello, I am Mr. Plum. We are Plum and Plumber, and it's another weekend. Get in. Well, Facebookers, you'll be getting this a, a, a week late because I've been banned again. <laughs> Nuts. Can't post or anything for another seven days. <sighs> anyway, Instagrammers, Instagrammers, whatever they're called, you're getting this now. So, it's Sunday, 13th, 13th, I think. Sunday, 13th of Feb. Um, so, not going to do any car related stuff today. Well, not specifically. Um, I'm going to tell you a little story about that thing behind me. That thing is hand number plate. And the reason why it's there is a little story. Let me go and get it. Now. Oh, you are sat down. Right. This thing was off of my very first voiture. It was a Mark I Vauxhall Cavalier 1600 Hell. As seen in this picture. That's not the exact one, because it ended up looking slightly different. Nuts. So, being one of these nerdy type people, and a hoarder of many things, I kept all the paperwork. So, in 25th of April, 1987, for some of you, that was a very, very, very long time ago. I was involved in an accident in my pride and joy. And no, it wasn't my fault. So, I was driving quite merrily down Arundel Street in Portsmouth. For those people that know where that is. Driving merrily down the road. Out come flying at a side road was a silver Fiat Mia Fiori. And driving it was a nonce of great proportions. He hit me side on so hard it cracked the engine. <gasps> uh, so, what this story's all about, in all his paperwork from solicitors from back then, it's written on a typewriter. It is as well. It's written on a typewriter. April 1987. Right. All this paperwork basically unfolds that because he was a nonce, he had no driving licence, no insurance, nothing. He just had the car, brazen as you like, driving round the place and smacked into me at great speed. So... All this is boiling down to is that because he had no driving licence, because he had no insurance, they said, well, we can't do anything about it. It's no money's going to have to come from him. I thought, you are having a giraffe. So they, went, they took him to court. They went to court. And basically, he was a complete nonce. He, he claimed... Poverty. He claimed poverty in court. And so the judge ruled, well, you're going to have to find the money somehow to pay this bloke off whose car you have now written off. That's what's left of it. But, who no, I can't afford it. And so the court dismissed it and then basically banned him for God knows how long. And when I said... Well, what about my money for my car? That car cost 1,500 English pounds in 1987. And they said, well, we don't know what to do. And so the solicitors in black and white, chances of recovering said costs are unlikely. So... I thought, where'd I go now? And to rub salt into the wounds, the police contact me and said, 
best you not take the law into your own hands, sunshine. Because there will be ramifications involved in that. If anything happens, you said, gentlemen, you will be the first person we knock the door off. So, the moral of the story is, get a driving licence, get insurance, and don't be a nonce. And don't leave people with that is what's left of their car. <sighs> anyway, bent over. Gin. My name is Mr Plum. We are Plum and Plumber, and I have insurance, tax and MOT. And a driving license. Because I do know, in this instance, what I am doing. And I shall see you on the next job.